Okay, we are back. All right. So, as the Krasu comes storming out of the tunnel and jumps through the air, configuring into the close combat mode, coming down the ramp normally used by the transport vehicles that ships the goods from the tower to wherever they, it goes, comes a squad of the raccoons and leading them is Jason Basil in his custom wolf. And so this custom wolf of his has, it, the, the apes are these very like squat, sort of uh, simple, simply constructed obbies that have big sort of industrial hands and uh, stubby but powerful legs. They've got machine guns on either hand and then another one on their right shoulder. The wolf is a much sleeker, though still very practically designed Avi, also bipedal, and is taller than the apes. This one has a heavy cannon on its right arm and a very large industrial clamp on its left. There is also some kind of contraption strapped to its back that is unclear what it is at this time. It looks uh, somewhat like an X on sticking out from behind the back of this RV. So, they are marching down, and you can see that the turrets in the ceiling are not targeting them at all. Great. Scarecrow, you've just arrived on the scene. What are you shooting at? First things first, I'm going to take out the ceiling turrets. Okay. Uh... I would like to use battle to shoot the shit out of them. Makes sense. Uh, this will be risky standard. Okay. So it's 46. I'm just going to go with it. Wow! <laughs> oh. cool. cool. Cool, 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 cool. Damn. That's, cool that's a three. Okay. Um, so you, you open fire while flying through the air, but as the Karasu does not have any kind of mobility suite, it's uh, the, the recoil on the machine guns just throws your aim off entirely and you're not able to hit the turrets. Um, and they, they're they still focused on Bert, but you make a very clear target for the raccoons on the loading ramp, and there's a loud whoop as the cannon on the wolf fires and just nails you. So take the level two damage blasted I'm going to go ahead and declare some load, since I've got some to spare. Okay. I'm going to declare armor, and um, actually, hold up a second. Can I resist this, first of all, before I do that? Um, I need to double-check my mechanical options here. Well, tell me how you would want to try and resist it. Uh... Well, I believe it would be expertise, since we've already got um, one engaged. Basically, it would be a positioning matter of trying not to be so open as you exit. Well, you, you tell me what you do, and I tell you what you resist with. Okay. Um...
basically trying to stay on the move so like it's not just like settle down shoot at the ceiling it's keep strafing around as you go yeah okay um so that'll be expertise that's three so it's going to cost you one quirk okay so which quirk are you spending i'm going to spend uh, low and bipedal that seems uh that seems appropriate yeah all right you're a small target okay so that cannon round like blows a huge chunk out of the ground of where you were and the shrapnel from the 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 crater just like smashes a tractor trailer behind you whoosh tower what are you up to on the ceiling uh i think i am going to try and take out that secondary turret uh or those second two there were four right yes yeah, I think I'm going to try and do essentially the same thing. I know it's not super interesting, but, like, we need to take those out. Yeah, sure thing. Rolling maneuver again? Yeah. Is my position changed because of all the shit show that's going down? Uh, no. No, you're okay. still a risky so, standard. I thought it was controlled. Uh... Because I, I had the fine climb. Yes, there. yes, you are correct. Because you are invisible. It is controlled standard. Yay! So that is three dice. That's a four. Okay. Um, what would the consequence be? That would be... Uh, I think you'd get shot up a little bit, the Mantis, by, like, the last turret sees you coming, finally okay. notices you, and then, so you'll take level one damage, um, uh, Dented. Okay. So, okay. You, are you going to accept that? Yeah, I'll take that. Okay. So, yeah, you take out that last, uh, the last turret. Yeah. You you just smash it apart and. Yeah, I think I just like dig both hands into there and just like rip it apart. Yeah. Just real fuck it up. Just fuck it up real good. So those auto pill boxes are toast. I like how in my brain the last turret is like the last unicorn. It's like, I am the last one. No! Uh, <laughs> Pitchfork, what are you up to? Can I open comps to Jason Basil? <laughs> Absolutely. I just want to say... You couldn't find enough civilians to murder up uh, topside. <laughs> Who is this? It's not important. I closed the channel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I would like to rush him. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. So, how? What are you doing? Tell, tell me. Uh, I kind of want to. I either want to like throw a shipping container at him, or I just want to like go for it. Just uh, tackle him. Yeah. That's way more satisfying. We're we're just gonna go with that. I'm just gonna run straight in. And just tackle him. Yep. Okay. All right, getting some uh, heavy metal action going on. What do you want to roll for this? Uh, battle, please. Absolutely. Uh, you've got your fine melee weapon, right? Or fine heavy melee weapon? I sure do. Okay, this will be risky great. Okay. Um, I will push myself for an extra die. Wait, is that one or two quirks? Uh, it's... Uh, one quirk to push yourself. Okay. To push your uh, I'm gonna go with... Quadrupedal and large. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. 
Okay. So that is a battle. Mm hmm. Risky, great. Three dice. Okay. That's a four. That's a four. Okay. So, you absolutely, like, tackle him, tackle his wolf custom to the ground, and just start pummeling the shit out of it. And you, like, go to smash him one more time with, uh, the, ja with the jackhammer, and that big industrial claw comes up and grabs a hold of the jackhammer and like holds you actually it doesn't grab a hold of the jackhammer it grabs a hold of the arm holding the jackhammer and like keeps you in place and then the thing on its back in spite of the fact that it's on the ground it like unfolds to be four sort of like armatures thin arms and that end in chainsaws and while he's holding you in place, they begin cutting into you. Mm, don't like that. <laughs> uh, I would like to... So this is actually two consequences. The first oh. is putting you into a desperate position, him grabbing hold of you. And the second is spending his first rival move of dealing damage. Uh... I want to resist the damage by deploying my anchor system as the thing starts to unfold and pinning it to the ground. <laughs> this is great. Awesome. Okay. Um, what is that? Yeah, that's expertise. What's what's your expertise rating? Uh, three. Okay. What quirk are you spending? Uh, I think loud and industrial. It's just like kashunk and just drives them into the ground. Yeah, okay. So you do that and you've like got him pinned to the ground. This is the deadliest embrace and I love it. Um, yeah. Hmm. I am going to spend another one of his rival moves on you, Pitchfork. <laughs> so his buddies next to him see this happening, and they're like, oh shit, the boss! And they, like, a pair of the, of the, the apes, because there's four of them, they just unload on Bert with six anti-AV machine guns. Oops. <laughs> because that's what the apes have, three each. Jesus fuck! Um, so yeah, take take the level 2 damage uh, shredded. Can I resist that? So when Can you... Can I also resist that? <laughs> <laughs> I have an idea. So, so when you, you know, go to protect someone, you have to take the, the damage yourself. You have to suffer the consequence. And then you can choose to resist it as normal. So okay. tell me, tell me how you, who, who, whichever one of you is going to be protecting Pitchfork. Tell me how you're getting in the way of these bullets. What's your idea? <laughs> well, I figured I would just sort of. Um, oops, this is the wrong playbook. One second. Um, <laughs> uh, sort of like make my way over and like. Um, and start grabbing guns with hands. Um, <laughs> but also, uh, my obvi is not as well off as I remembered it, so if you have any better ideas, I'm open to them. I mean, I was gonna retcon into having hacked one of the turrets into attacking the, um, other obvies, but I don't know how that well that would work. It's just an idea. Hmm. It's a 
cool idea. I feel like Tower's not good enough at hacking to really pull, pull that off, though. Do you have any points in interface? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but they could try. Uh, I've got armor, I'll manage. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you gonna spend your armor then, Pitchfork? I am gonna spend my armor. Okay, you don't get shredded then. Yay! Hey. Alright. Uh, let's see. Dredge, what are you up to? I am gonna gonna make my way over to uh, those mechs and take them apart with my big hands, though. That is the plan. Um, I like this plan. Okay, um, just ripping them limb from limb with the magpie's mm -hmm. myriad hands. Mm-hmm. Okay, what do you want to roll for that? Um, that's a dis destroy. No, that's a battle. <laughs> That's a battle. I mean, you, cool. can, that's bad. you can roll destroy. You can absolutely roll destroy. That's going to be like, that's going to be lesser effect though, because essentially what it is is like you're not fighting with anything resembling skill. You're just relying on the brute force of all of your arms. <laughs> Here's the thing. It would be that like that if I chose battle too, because I have zero points in it. <laughs> Okay, so you want to roll destroy? Six of one, half dozen of the other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That'll be risky, um, limited. What if it was manipulate, though? That would also still be risky, limited oh, for, it? like, okay, you're doing it very carefully now, but... Like... I mean, you have fine destruction tools, right? It's still, like... Oh, yeah, I could just, just jam some, some explosives into those joints. <laughs> That's actually yeah. Thank you. That's a much better idea. <laughs> oh God, no! Because I just I just saw that in my head, and it's like it's real waspy. It's like you know, pry it open, insert the bomb. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That'll be oh, that'll be risky it. standard then to use your uh, drill bombs I'll take on it. these raccoons with actually, destroy. Risky. Oops. Sorry. Uh, oh, uh, with um. With destroy or with manipulate? Either. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go with manipulate. Manipulate because I have three of that. Fuck um, him up. Inserting but... dynamite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a manipulate. Mm -hmm. Dredge is uh... setting them up the bomb. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> That's a four. <laughs> Two ones. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. Glad you had that extra guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you just, so, so describe to me how you destroy two of these apes. Okay. What does um, it look like? It is, um, like, uh, weaving over and then, um, like, sort of wrapping around them, like in a, in a, like a figure eight, um, and just very, very briefly, like, pulling, pulling an arm further than it should and then pulling like a uh like uh arcing the the, the spine of, of the mech a little bit further than it should and then just leaving and then it them both exploding <laughs> this is mean this is very mean i know they're mechs but it still feels gross i don't know why <laughs> <laughs> uh it's because mechs are an allegory for the body um and this is some body horror being inflicted on these mechs. Yay! <laughs> Sasha, your allegory is bad. <laughs> okay. So, Dredge, your consequence. Uh -huh. Right, yes. You are already somewhat plugged into the, the comms channels of the Jovengelians up above. And you hear Claire come over the comms again. And she says, Commander Foundation, the raccoons are proving ineffective against the cenotaph. Please send backup. <laughs> and so I am going to start another reinforcements clock. This time... 
for Alice Foundation, Tower's Rival, you suck. and the Herd to God. arrive. Ugh. I mean, they're artillery. We're underground. What can they do, right? Blow shit up. Yeah. Reinforcements the sequel. Also, the <laughs> also the Savannah Sovereign. Yes. Yeah. Also, the Savannah Sovereign. Can you even fit, can you even fit the, the, the Savannah Sovereign down here? Like that's the a a whole absolutely thing. Bert fits. Shit. <laughs> Fair. It's Seventy foot ceilings. <sighs> Uh, okay. worse, bad, bad, and worse news. Uh, the herd are on their way. Um, to to be clear, y'all can also reach comms to your allies too at this point. Like since oh, that, you're no longer it. deep underground. Um, since you are picking up their comms channel, you can figure out that that means you can call in people as well. Okay, that could be good. Um. Uh, we are with the the paladins and who are the other ones? Uh, the repentant. Oh, the repentant. We and really talk to um, actually, I think now that you like have access to the comms, once again, since you're now closer to like the ramp that <laughs> the like loading ramp that the raccoons were coming down, um, you can now hear the comms of like the battle going on, and so there are. Uh, three familiar voices coordinating in uh, the battle on your side up above. The first is you can hear Pars Piani coordinating the dark rooms like Black Ops Avis in this fight against the hyenas and the wolf pack and the herd and the raccoons. You can also hear in the voice of an old man who is you know him as senior kin arrow slide but mm -hmm. but he uh whenever someone is calling to him they they call him the unnamed uh god <laughs> you edgy motherfucker <laughs> i have no <laughs> respect it emo shit <laughs> you were like 60 you're too old for your emo phase too old. <laughs> no such thing. <laughs> <laughs> Goth till I, you die. In my, well, no, in my was... Sorry. Sorry. In my brain, I'm just picturing like an old man version of like penance from the fucking like Civil War event. It was like, oh. I must wear this suit of spikes. Mm, I must. Mm. If he was already goth, it would have been fine. <laughs> But he's just in his goth right. phase. Yeah. Like if he, he if he was a pre-established goth, I'm, fine. I'm down. But you can't be having your goth phase at sixty. I disagree, but that is not a conversation we should be having on stream. <laughs> Sasha, I we hope can, I know but... you in forty years. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> better. Um, oh. And then the last voice you recognize is someone you didn't talk to a whole lot, except when discussing mosh pits. <laughs> and basically, all you hear from Lady Elreth is laughter. I love her. Marry right. me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gay. What are you talking about? <laughs> so... Uh, that is what you hear up above, over the comms. Okay. Um, um, and of course, all of you have access to this comm chatter now, to be clear. Mm -hmm. So, who has something they want to do? Uh, me, me. Okay. <laughs> Scarecrow, what are you up to? Um, well, since the wolf is pinned, I would like to put myself into a position to just unload on it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that'll be risky great. Risky great? Okay. I'm going to push myself for an extra die. And I'm going to finally, after like, maybe like 10 sessions, use a traveling companion and use stress to push this one. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> 
Um, so that's five dice. Christ. <laughs> you know what always happens when you roll ridiculous... Okay. There it is. There's the six. Because we always what? roll terribly whenever we roll ridiculous amounts of dice. If you'd rolled six dice, then you would have had every possible result from it. <laughs> it's a one, two, four, five, six. So that's, oh, that is another three ticks from that great effect onto the Jason Basil clock. Yeet. As you just like walk over while he's pinned down and just aim your machine gun at him and just unload on the pinned wolf and it is just like flying apart in like pieces. It's still clearly functional but it, it is in bad shape. Okay. Pitchfork, what are you going to do with uh, Scarecrow at your side, just tearing apart Jason Basil's wolf custom? Uh, I'm going to pop the cockpit open and aim the anti-armor <laughs> weapon. I'm going to aim the yeah! drill launcher right at the cockpit, the other cockpit. <laughs> oh, holy God. shit! Oh my God. God. Okay. What do you want? This wanna, is where we are. What do you want to roll for that? That's a struggle. Uh, I would like to push myself for an extra die. And no, that's it. Yeah. Uh, this this will be. Uh, Risky standard. Okay. Would you like uh, an assist? Uh, sure. Cool. Uh, I think that we've we've talked before about um, about uh, cockpits and the ways that they are destroyed in in combat and the ways that they open um, after the, the 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 mech is is disabled. Mm. That's I have one point with you. I think. I think so. Okay, so you're taking improved effect, position, or die. Another die. So I roll four. Die, die, die. Da, da, da. Just barely. Ugh. That's a four. <laughs> that is a four. Uh. Okay. So, when you complete a rival's clock, you get to decide, are you killing them? Or are you just removing them from the scene? I think this is it for Jason. Yeah, I kind of suspect it since you're firing an anti-armor weapon at him. Um, More like Battle of Blown Up Street. Yeah. So, <laughs> you aim, you open the cockpit, you're like, your cockpit is facing his cockpit across the small gap between your obvies. You open up, you heft the, the drill launcher at the other cockpit, and it opens up. And there, and there's just like a cloud of vape, like <laughs> smoke comes out, and I you can smell, you can you smell his boxing. his telltale whiff of weed flavored vape juice. Oh my not, God, not even THC man. In, involved in this. Um, and he's wearing his like uh, traditional cowboy boots, jeans, and a tank top over a Kevlar vest and his black duster and he saw the look on your face when you opened the cockpit and so he opens he opened his and he pulls out his two pistols and he shoots you across the distance Ugh. and garbage man so i am going to spend uh his last um his, rival move? Yeah, his last rival move. So take two level two harm. Take um, 
Let's see. Uh, uh, busted arm and chest wound. I would like to declare armor and heavy armor, please. <laughs> <laughs> what does your armor look like? Uh, I think it, this is actually like... It's, it's like an older model of body armor, but it's like proper body armor that I think has been like sitting in storage for like 10 or so years. Uh, it's really bulky and boxy looking. Um, it's like metal plates and stuff uh, with like connected with like really thick like woven like carbon fiber or something like that. In my mind, I see Tachanka. Okay, so you, you, like, he opens fire, he quick draws on you, and the bullets just ping off of your armor and, like, embed them in something, like, non-essential in Bert's cockpit. And you just see the absolute look of fear on his face as you just don't stop. And you launch the drill at him, and he, like, in a panic, slams the, like, emergency shut on his cockpit hatch but he does not make it in time and so like it closes but your drill is already inside of the cockpit and inside of him as well and then there's a mm. muffled whoop and the wolf custom goes limp and that is the end of Jason Basil Jason Basil did shoot first for a lot of good it did him. Yeah. <laughs> sure did. <laughs> um, so, uh, Tower, what are you up to? There's still two raccoons here who probably don't recognize or realize that their boss is toast. Hmm. Can you, uh, remind me what exactly the layout of the room? Like, who is where and what is the room looking like? So, basically, um, the magpie, the Krasu, and Bert are all on the ramp that leads out of this massive underground warehouse. And that's also where the raccoons and the wolf custom are as well. They're all fighting on this, like... Tra uh, ramp to the outside and you're okay. up on the ceiling near the last turret is the last turret dead oh yeah okay yeah, i just wanted to make sure um oh also sorry i forgot to say for dredge that consequence of uh the reinforcements that wasn't just the clock appearing there's also two ticks okay Disgusting. Um, uh, French is gonna radio tower and be like, hey, can you close that that door over there, maybe? Yep, I'm on it. That's what I was gonna do. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so you're closing um, the, the door to the warehouse? Yeah. I'm gonna try and close the door, and if I can catch one of the, uh, Avis in it, uh, and do some shit. Yeah! Shows, uh, it's a it's a nice bonus. Okay, so you're going. They're just trying to time it so it catches like a limb or something. Okay. It's not prioritizing that, but if it does it, it's fun. Okay. So you're going to the control room then of this warehouse. Yep. Okay. So you skitter along the ceiling in the mantis, mm -hmm. and you reach the the boxy control room up in, in the upper corner of the warehouse with all of its glass windows. And you just, like, punch a hole through one of the windows to get inside, or...? I, I think I, like, leave the mantis on the ceiling and, like, just swing in through the door and, like, run around. There's... there's or, like, like, punch a hole in the window and yeah. swing in, leaving the mantis outside, though. Yeah, there's, there's no door up at this height. Okay. So, yeah, there's, like, a stairwell to get up to this control room. Then, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so you punch a hole in the window and you hop inside... And there's chairs for, like, a half dozen people. 
and there's monitors for like the control panel or for the cameras all around of this warehouse and controls for the crane that moves the storage containers and all kinds of other controls up here. Okay. Uh, it's going to be a roll to try and find the right button for the door. Um, I know where the storage container crane button is or controls are. Um, yeah, I would say that they probably stand out. They look more like AV controls than like anything else It's like here. a joystick kind of Yeah, thing. yeah. How far in to the warehouse itself are any of the enemy obvies? Uh, I mean, if you could grab one if you were so inclined. They're close. They're like right on the edge of the tr crane's range. My my thing was more. I was gonna grab a shipping container and drop it on one of them. Oh yeah, you could manage that. Um, just to sort of get some of them out of your way. I'll I'll prioritize closing the door, but it's like a. Well, which do you want to do first? I'm gonna- I think I'm gonna ping Dredge and just say, um, got any idea which of these would close the door? Uh, I can- I can look if not, but any help would be helpful. There should be, uh, something labeled, uh, uh, docking bay doors? It could be truncated to a smaller version of docking bay doors. Okay. Um, can I find something like that? What do you want to roll? Mm, I guess it would just be a survey. Yeah, that would work to try and find the right button. Yeah, it's one die. Um, I, th I think that that's probably Dredge assisting you there. Right? Assuming <laughs> Dredge is still with it. Yeah. So how much stress are you spending, Dredge? Uh, one. All right, so this will uh, this will be risky standard. Okay, and then just two dice. Okay. Do 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 do. Oh, oh, oh! That's a two. Mm, that's a two. Thank you, roll twenty. Okay. Um, gotta so, love that. Yeah. Uh, so I am going to add one tick to the reinforcements clock, and then the other thing that happens is that, uh, I think you, you hit, what button do you hit that is wrong, that lets the raccoons know you're in the control room? I think, I mean, maybe it's, maybe it's that, like, I find, I find the right button, but, like, it needs a passcode or something, and like I try to press it without the right passcode, and it sets off an alarm or something. Okay, so one of the one of the raccoons sees like a red flashing light coming from the control room, and like picks up that you're trying to fuck with something in there, and just opens fire on the control room with the machine guns, and they don't you don't take any hits directly but it shatters the huge windows in front of you and you just get sprayed with glass. Nice. So take the level okay. one damage sliced. Or sorry, not damage, harm, sliced. Lovely. Okay, well, I'm, I'm still gonna try and drop a shipping container on something. <laughs> Cause I think uh, even if I can't get the door to close, I might as well do as much damage as I can from here. Okay. What vehicle action do you want to roll for that? Um, I mean, I'm not being particularly precise. It's mostly just picking something up and dropping something. Would it still be a manipulate, or could I make a make a, an argument for maneuver? Oh, that's not maneuver at all. No, it's not. I I re read the move description, and it's not even a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna roll one die and manipulate and hope for the best. Yeah, okay. Uh, this will be... It's not my mech. Risky like, standard. Yeah, it's absolutely not your mech. It's not mine. Oh, uh, fuck it. Manipulate. Risky standard? Yep. One die, don't fuck me. Ah, 
you didn't fuck me. That's a four. Woo! Yeah, okay. So, is there any particular type of cargo container you are looking for to drop on these raccoons? I uh, just like the biggest, chunkiest, heaviest looking one I could find. Okay. So you pick one up and you describe to me how you fling it at these raccoons. Um I don't I don't know that I fling it. I think I wait for one of them to back up into the range of the crane and just like waiting for it, waiting for it, just like boom, drop it. Okay. So you you do that, you drop it on them and uh, it's great that you picked the one that was heaviest and chunkiest because that one was filled with munitions and it <laughs> explodes. Lovely. And, and so it blows up the last two of the raccoons. I love this. Um, and you can see that the explosion has damaged the door controls for the warehouse. And that is when there's the roaring sound of boosters. <sighs> Fuck. Dredge. Take level two damage pierced as the Savannah Sovereign comes roaring down the ramp and with its lance takes a chunk out of the magpie. Is the magpie taking the damage? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, damage versus harm. I'm dumb. <laughs> I'd like to resist that. Oh, I'm sorry. And uh, how do you want to resist it? Um. Well, I do that by burning quirks, and I have equal, I think. Narratively, um, how do you want no, to narratively, resist it? Okay. Um. Just sort of, um, I, I, I like the image of like, um, winding around the, uh, the lance and like jetting up and over the, uh, the, the other mech's shoulder. Just out of the way. Yeah. Okay, so you just, uh, that sounds like expertise to me. What's mm -hmm. your rating in expertise? I have two points in it. So spend two quirks. Okay, um, that's, uh, long and myriad limbed and rubbery and flexible. Okay, how many quirks does the magpie have left? I have three left now. Okay, so yeah, you just, like, uh, slither around the lance and avoid it entirely as the Savannah Sovereign which as a reminder has like a, a, the, the upper bot it's a modified lion which is an artillery mech that has a, like a tank treads for a lower body and a humanoid upper body and normally they carry artillery massive artillery cannons on their shoulders but this one has been modified those cannons are gone and they're replaced by a like spiked tower shield on one arm and an anti avi lance in the other. And it's got massive boosters in the back for going absurdly way faster than a tank should move. Mm -hmm. She's so extra and I love her. <laughs> and so she is now on the scene and at the like inside of the warehouse proper at the bottom of the ramp and at the top of the ramp you can see the outline of two uh what's the karasu is a coyote right um the karasu is a dingo the standard model is the coyote right yeah so there's a pair of coyotes at the top of the ramp with their like big missile racks which is the standard version as the dingo has the rail gun goddamn coyotes <laughs> yeah um so uh who okay, has I need, I, I need to make this impassable to to max really fucking quick okay so um, what are you gonna do dredge <laughs> 
Um. Uh, what if? What am I gonna do? Um. Hmm. Um, hmm. Indeed. I okay. What I want to do is just uh make the the entryway to this place completely impassable. Um. And. Uh. I think the way that I want to do that is I want to, um, turn it to powder. Uh, so, um, Nell time? Nell time, yeah. Um, so that's a destroy, and that's, <laughs> like, um, All I can hear in my head right now is, fire the base cannon. <laughs> um... How many, how many ticks does our good friend none right foundation just is just here yeah, yeah. just arrived she's yeah. an eight tick clock and that's the two, so many ticks the two coyotes are six tick that's Jeez. so many ticks well the raccoons were tier one and the herd are tier three yep my um. ex is cool <laughs> Okay, I, I have I have two ideas here, and I'm not sure which one I should do. Um, should I uh, take advantage of this of this little window of time being behind um, the the uh, Savannah Sovereign to to put some uh, more bombs uh, places, or should I focus on collapsing the um, the ramp so that the the herd don't get in? Well, the herd are artillery, so. Even if they're stuck at the top of the ramp, they're still going to be peppering us while we fight. Um... Yeah, I think the thing to do is block access and then Hello's deal with uh, what's already in here. Okay. Um, I don't think this is especially complex, then. I think this is just sort of um, grabbing... Um, Oh, what it is is it's it's collapsing the ground underneath a bunch of the um, the the shipping crates and having them sort of slide uh, into a big big old pile in front of the uh, the door. So I'm just sort of bar making a barricade. Oh, I like that. Okay. okay. So you're blocking off the, the the access to the warehouse, so anyone coming in through the ramp can't get in via Avi. Correct. Okay. Um. So that's destroy. Yeah, that'll be risky standard. Okay. Um. Destroy. Risky. Standard. Two dice. Closer, that's two threes. Mm. That is two threes. That's back of Yikesy, yikesy, yikesy! Yeah. Lovely. We're yeah. just very good at this game. We, we were excellent. for a minute there. For dude, we we killed a fucking rival. That it's yeah. not it's only session one. Like, that's yeah, pretty good. that's pretty good. Yeah, poor Jason lasted like a half hour. <laughs> uh, yeah, he was a dick. Okay. He wore cowboy boots and vaped in his. Ugh. That just sounds like guys I know at school. Mm-hmm. All right. So. Um, over the comms, Lady Elrath comes to you, Dredge. And she says, I hear you're putting up a good fight down there and that there's a custom AV that's just joined you in the warehouse. Is that true? Uh, uh yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And the comms switch off. And oh then... god. <gasps> oh! <laughs> and then something that the, the possibly the 
I would say if you hadn't seen the magpie before, this would be possibly the oddest looking obby you have ever seen. It moves in an unnatural fashion because it is a matte black cube with beveled edges and on each in the center of each face is a small like crystal purple half dome oh her mech is made of life material and oh. at <laughs> each mm-hmm. at each corner of the cube is a limb that has two like ball elbow joints ending in instead of like a normal hand like a three-pointed uh triangularly arranged claw and it doesn't appear to have an up or down as it moves between moving on all fours two limbs a single limb rolling like a cartwheel and it appears that each of the limbs has a different weapon embedded in its palm from machine gun to cannon to energy weapon to a beam blade to a flamethrower and she comes in like a buzzsaw and just absolutely shreds the two coyotes at the top of the <sighs> stairs at the top of cube the ramp shiva, cube shiva cube shiva uh, austin ramsey said gay rights <laughs> This this feels like the opposite of a failure. <laughs> oh, but you see, do you all remember what her goal is? To 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 fight. To Fuck fight, shit up. To fight what? Me. Uh, hang on, I'm, I've I've paged over. I'm gonna look at the notes. Uh, oh no. Oh no. What? <laughs> She's wait. She's she's an independent squad. Is that right? No, she's uh, no. adamant council of Nor. Okay. The oligarchy. Right. Oligarchy. Um. Oh, to fight worthy opponents. Yeah. Oh. Um, no. You've got the Savannah Sovereign down here, and That's y'all just took out a squad that outnumbered you. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. She is here for one reason, and that is to find worthy opponents. God. This is bullying, Hot. Austin. This is bullying. <laughs> this is the dream. This is Ma'am, the dream. Please. Ma'am, please, I am at work. <laughs> so. Oh, no. Just give us, like, three hours. I'll <laughs> be right with you. I thought you were going to keep the clock big just to, you know. <laughs> I considered it. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. So, she is a 14 tick clock. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. So many ticks. And Alice Tick. Foundation is also still here. Oh my it god. Clock. Austin, what have you done? <laughs> I've given you a cliffhanger because that's where we're ending the session for this evening. You son of a bitch! Ugh. <sighs> so, let's do XP. <laughs> <laughs> oh. God. Power, did you address I? a challenge with stealth or evasion? Uh, I guess. Yeah. Oh, that was you took out the turrets that way, so take an XP. Yeah. Did you express your history, tragedy, or opening? Um, no. I mean, rival. When you re- if, like, you talk to her, sure. Yeah. Yeah, but not yet. Not yet. Oh shit! What did I do to my character sheet? Fuck. I, I'm 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 good. We're good. <laughs> and did you struggle because of your beliefs, scars, or quirks? 
I, I personally, uh, out of character struggled because I'm gay. Um... <laughs> Yeah, but that doesn't give- that gives you the person XP, that doesn't give- Yeah, uh, I don't know if Tower did, though. Okay. Alright then. Dredge, did you address a challenge with technical skill or mayhem? Technical skill, yeah. Um... Yeah, you dug that tunnel. So take an XP. Hooray. Did you express your history, tragedy, or opening? Uh, if architect could be used here, then yes. Uh, yeah, sure. You were looking up blueprints for the building and figuring out where to, if you could dig in places. And did you struggle because of your beliefs, scars, or quirks? I don't think so. Don't think so. Okay. All right, scarecrow. Did you address the challenge with tracking or violence? Yeah. Yeah, take an XP for shooting the crap out of the wolf custom. Did you express your history, tragedy, or opening? Mm, I'm going to say no today. Did you struggle because of your beliefs, scars, or character? I uh, almost wasn't here. Some quirks. Pardon? Uh, what? Quirks? Sorry, sorry. Uh, just that it shouldn't say character, just say quirks, but... Yes. Um, almost wasn't here for the mission. Yeah, okay, take an XP for that. Cool. Okay. Uh, Pitchfork, did you address a challenge with violence or coercion? A lot of violence was done today. <laughs> yeah take an xp for that also you get one xp for contributing to filling your rival's clock and then you get another two xp for permanently removing him as a threat am i allowed to put those i'm not allowed to put those in mech action uh vehicle actions right uh yeah you can oh you can i was mistaken <laughs> That's probably a holdover from uh, earlier versions of the game. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that would make sense. Uh, did you express your history, tragedy, or opening? Uh, the Jason Basil stuff was kind of a combination. Yeah. Of that. Take an XP for that. And did you struggle because of your beliefs, scars, or quirks? Um, uh, I don't actually th think so. Yeah, not this time. Okay. All right, let's do squad XP. Did you execute a successful delivery or acquire new clients or contraband sources? <laughs> mm. No. <laughs> Did you face off against challenges above your pay grade? Yeah. I mean, technically this entire mission is, is well above our pay grade. I just... We're, we're like dumb babies. I don't know why Elrith wants to fight us. <laughs> we got lucky is the problem. <laughs> yeah. Um, We're just like big stupid babies. We don't know you don't. You never want to go. You never want to go to a bar with Lady Elroth because when she puts on "Hey man, nice shot," that means she's gonna fight you. Uh, I just I. Hmm. <laughs> Ray just doesn't want to fight their crush. Yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong. I'm gay. <laughs> Did you bolster your squad's reputation or develop a new one? Wait, but was that a point or not? Oh, yeah, yeah, take it. <laughs> uh, uh, duplicitous we have so many floating fucking advances. I actually don't <laughs> think so this I don't time. Think so. I think you got one for Merciful for a change because you evacu you coordinated the evacuation <laughs> uh, of the civilians in the area. We did do we that. Did do that. <laughs> Very effectively. <laughs> 
just it just occurred to me that uh, when when Mortuary Affairs says, "Hey, you should probably leave," you should probably fucking leave. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> Uh, did you express the goals, drives, inner conflict, or essential <laughs> nature of the squad? I mean, that's losing profit for us. Mm -hmm. yeah, that I doesn't... mean, Scarecrow didn't almost, almost didn't show up. That's true. Yeah. There is still inner, inner conflict. conflict. We need to choose these upgrades, y'all. Yeah, okay, take it. Take an XP for that. <laughs> Y'all, we have three Another advance. I'm have such three. a bad teammate that we're benefiting from it. <laughs> three advances. Y'all, do we want to just, like, fill out the quality gear stuff? We yes! Just shopping. Yeah, do we want to just do that, though? Because we've wanna... got enough to fill the whole thing. Yeah, and we have a great excuse for one after we, I guess, after we survive Lady Elrith. And if then, like, we... take personal training or whatever. Yeah, let's just do that. Yeah. Yeah, the gear would be very, very good. Yeah, you are, are we all in consensus on that? Yeah. Yes. I mean, there's no point in getting a, getting trained downtime activity to, to play but XP instead of one, because I don't think we're going to have a, a downtime nah. after one. Do mm -hmm. we just want to, like, take something just well, for the fun of it? Well, taking all... If you get gear programs, supplies, tools, pilot weapons, and vehicle weapons, that's all six. Yeah, that's oh smaller. yeah, that's six. I miscounted. I'm yep. bad. At, I'm bad at math. That's fine. Look at that. We're all caught up. Good work, Yay! team. Woo! <laughs> now we just have, we we just have cool kicks. Hell yeah. And we just have to fight Shiva. Now we just. <sighs> I'm scared. Okay, Austin, what the hell is the what the hell is the Avi called? Because I'm gonna keep calling it Cubic Shiva. Starfall. Yep, Starfall. Damn, yo, what the fucking Hey, shoutouts to eighth grade Austin. <laughs> fucking came through. Eighth grade Austin said gay rights. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, let's do our outros, folks. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, I'm Austin Ramsey. I've been your host and GM for this evening. I am also the creator of Beam Saber. You can find me on Twitter at NotAnIn. That's N-O-T-A-N-I-N-N. -N. And you can find all of my game design stuff, including Beam Saber, at austin-ramsey.itch.io. Uh, I have been joined this evening by Takuma. Hey, I have been Takuma and also Keiko Tuesday Pitchfork. Um, my Twitter is at Takuma underscore Okada underscore. Uh, my games uh, are at noroadhome.itch.io. Uh, I have some sad mech games there. If you are interested in such things, if you are listening to this, most likely. If you've made it to session 30, <laughs> you're probably into sad mech stories. Yeah. Is my guess. Also joining us has been Jess. Hi, I'm Jess. Also, um, since you started a trend there, Takuma, um, Riza Scarecrow Hagden. Um, and uh, you guys can find me on Twitter and Twitch at uh, QuasiNim and my podcast, The Movie Morgue, with Annie Neller at um, Movie Morgue Cast on uh, Twitter. Thank you. Also with us is Sasha. Uh, hey, I've been Sasha and also uh, C. Dredge Bellevue. I did, in fact, have to page over to my own character sheet to remember <laughs> my name. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Sasha underscore Renell. Um, you can find all my game dev stuff at TCabbage if you just want to jump straight to the source uh 22 to 22.itch.io will get you all my games thank you and last but never least ray i have been ray and also uh tower reach um you can find me on twitter at ray ray the gay gay or my games at ray and the fog .io, and i will not apologize for anything <laughs> <laughs> that's a lie you apologize a lot more than you need to. <laughs> On a near constant basis, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. 
So once again, thank you everyone so much for joining us on this uh, rival-filled adventure. We will be back again next Tuesday at 6 p.m. EST for the continuation of this final mission. Uh, but until then, I just want to remind everyone to fight the war and not the soldiers. See you later. <laughs>